week two of the quarantine. My best friend is still Hector. Which is sad because even in non-quarantine times, Hector is my best friend. Hello Shopify world, my name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io but you already knew that because you're like, yeah, duh, I'm subscribed, bro. This week we are reviewing another Shopify app. Uh, the app that we are reviewing this week is... I'm not going to spoil it like that. That's going to be too easy. You can just look at the title. But, you know, when you're like, yeah, I need to do marketing because I need to have people come to my store. And then, obviously, you have email marketing, which is a huge, huge, huge thing. Even for those of you that say email marketing doesn't work. It does. It does work. Just do email marketing. But what else is there? What if there's an email marketing app that does an email marketing and web push notification and Facebook dynamic ads and Google ads, SMS marketing, all of those and many more things, all of those things in one app? That would be the app that we're reviewing this week. It's called OmniSense. It's like the creators knew that it was going to do all the things, Omni things. We're gonna see all of these features right here. Um, we're gonna put the timestamp below. So if you're interested in a specific feature only, just go straight to that feature. Don't listen to me jabber along. But if you do, have fun. Let's go to the first feature right now. It's going to be behind the scenes. Let's go. The app is installed and we are on the account creation window. As you can see here, it is the first step out of a three steps. Fill this in quickly and click on get started. Next in line is information about your business. Um, most of it will be filled in automatically. And on the third step, we should choose the industry as Omnisense tailors us user experience according to your industry. That's pretty interesting. So uh, we will choose sports and recreation and move to the next step. The start guide just opened and we're on the welcome page. Uh, I really like the design so far. In these few pages, we have more information about the automation campaign, segment signups, forms, signup forms, and uh, reporting. Because there's quite a bit um, to understand and learn, so it's, it's really well done. The only thing I'm a bit disappointed about is I was hoping that we will be having a chance to actually customize things from the start guide. But once you reach the dashboard, we will be able to do that. Um, and here we go. The dashboard is very simple. It looks like it's really easy to navigate. Um, there's no clutter, no unnecessary items in all. It's pretty good design. Hats off. We will start with the campaigns, just like we did with uh, the other email marketing apps we reviewed. All right, let's click on plus create a new campaign. And here we are in this new window. On this page, you can choose which campaign type you want to send. So there's email campaigns, email A-B tests, SMS or push notification campaigns. It's quite, it's quite complete, to be honest. Uh, you will have more options in case you're using some of the apps OmniSend integrates with, but more about that in the facts corner at the end of the video. We will choose a simple email campaign by clicking on this button right here. The first step in the campaign creation is settings. Uh, fill in the subject line. You can include the campaign booster option, uh, where the app will send an additional email 48 hours after the campaign initially started. Um, basically, it's going to send it to those who have not seen the initial campaign, but are most likely to click and convert. The, the next option is the sender's name and email. You will need to go to the store setting to actually add the email. It will just take a few seconds. Then there's a placeholder. The pre-header is a short text that follows the subject line of your email. So kind of to really grab the attention. Um, there's a campaign name for internal use. And then there is a language. You can actually choose between 20 languages, which is rather impressive. And in case your language is not available, you can translate it by clicking on the button right here. Uh, and in case you want to auto post email campaigns to your Facebook page, just click on connect to the Facebook here. OmniSend will also try the open rates, uh, the clicks and other metrics for this campaign and will add a UTM tag for the Google analytic tracking, which is uh, nifty. Click on the next step and we are on the template page. There are two types of template standards and team. Let's choose some team template, not that many options. So we will choose the Swedish Dream. 
and we are on the content page and here is the well-known drag and drop builder god i love these uh, there are 18 standard blocks to drag and drop from click on them each to edit and it's pretty easy in case you don't like the color of the email you can check out the design tab right here uh, you can choose between design teams or you can create your custom design in order to make it fit your overall brand from this page you can send the test email which we will do right now it looks all right so let's move to the recipients here you can choose if you want to send the campaign to all your subscribers or choose a specific segment uh, we will go with all the subscribers but the segment is very very useful the last step is to review and send an email. On this page, you can send the email now or schedule it for later, which can be very handy, especially during busy sales days or if you want to coordinate bigger campaigns. Um, let's send it now and move to automation. As you can see here, our account is automatically suspended. Okay, this can be because of a variance of reasons. We don't have the payment set up. We have less than three products in our store. Store is password protected. The system maybe marked our campaign as spam or it can be some other reason. In case this happens to you, you should contact their customer support immediately. Um, we will test how fast they answer customer support in the next section. This suspension is only limiting our ability to send the emails. So we can see what else we can do with the app. Uh, let's check out automation. All right, we can create any flows while we are suspended, but in case you're not suspended, you will have the ability to choose from nine pre-made workflows, or you can create a workflow by yourself. OmniSend also allows you to create your own custom forms. You will get one pre-made newsletter sign-up form. So let's customize it a little bit. From the drop down, choose edit, and the first step is to choose your team. Uh, plenty of options are available, and we will go with this image on the left. It's the first option. In the next step, you will be able to customize the form even further. Uh, you can check the preview for both mobile and desktop version. So let's publish it and check what it looks like in our demo shop. Here you can see the pop up for the push notification and here is our sign up form it looks very good guys it is time for our next session which will be lightning fast as usual we will test the, the speed with uh, our own in-house tool that's shopify specific test my store and it's made really so that it points out the specific shopify elements more specifically, it tells you which apps uh, you have installed on your store and which apps are sucking out speed. You can also check out your competitor's app. It's pretty nifty. Anyway, um, we will compare. We obviously already installed the OmniSynth app before we uh, did this. So now we're doing another check. And if we go into history, we can easily compare both versions one to the other. So this app added a total of 14 additional requests. It's probably because we added the form and the web push. So that's not nothing. Um, and the page size went up for about from about 200 kilobyte. This is really approximate. So keep, in, keep this in mind. It's not nothing. It's not problematic at all. Um, but if you're not using it, make sure that it's not just chilling on your website. Okay, but if you're not thinking about this next section, you're not really doing e-commerce at this point. All right, let's see how it performs in the little screen. We're on the demo shop. Here is the push notification opt-in, and here is the pop-up. Let's allow the push on notification and the sign up for the newsletter, and it works very well. All right, off to the next. So customer support is available via live chat. But if you don't want to wait, you can check out their help center. Pretty classic. Uh, it has a bunch of useful articles, though, so the answer would probably be there. But we will try to get a human on a live chat. So around three hours later, we got a response, polite, and they actually solved our issue, which is pretty cool. So thanks for that, OmniSense. Welcome to the facts 
corner with Hector and myself, Karen Dean. So, okay, we're going to look at the other integrations that come with the app. This is relatively important because you want your app to work together well with other apps, considering that this is a marketing app. So um, it integrates, the list is rather large. I'm gonna pop up all the logos here, but we have Smile.io, we have Yachtpo, we have Loyalty Lion, Aftership, just Uno, Prevy, Recharge, Sufio, Stamped, ShipStation, Cardhook, Gorgeous, and Optimonk. Um, for the pricing, if we go at pricing, Omnisend has four plans. I'll overlay them right here. The free, the standard, the pro plan, and the enterprise plan. Um, on the free plan, you'll have all of these basic things like email campaigns, sign up form boxes, and pop-ups and the reports on the standard plan for 16 bucks a month you can segmentize your audience which is relatively useful um, and you have also 24 7 uh, live chat and then in case you want to add push notification facebook custom audiences google customer match priority support and advanced reports you will need to pay a hundred dineros per month for the pro plan and then you have the most expensive, which is the enterprise plan. Uh, you will have all of these features in the enterprise plan. Let's look at the competitor, just in case you don't really like OmniSend for one of the reasons. You might want to check out the uh, app reviews for these competitors. We have Klaviyo, we have AC Marketing Automation, we have Drip, we have Smart Mail Email Marketing, we have Send in Blue, and finally we have Seguno. So these are all of the competitors. And then if we look at the uh, reviews, we have a 4.8 out of 5 star rating out of 3,442 reviews as for the moment of recording. That's the breakdown of them. And then for the 1 stars, we'll overlay some of them on the screens. There's 82 of them, which in proportion is really not that much. Um, so just in case there are some red flags, check them out. But there's always people that are going to be complaining. And some of the elements got addressed uh, in the video, so you're better prepared for that as well well so that is it guys thank you so much for watching the video please like please subscribe and we will see you next week in another shopify review video oh stay safe guys ciao